Welcome, this is the Algebra 1 end of course practice test number 3, question number 42. Um, the question says the table below shows the relationship between the number of years since 2006 and the amount of money collected for an annual community fundraiser. And my calculator emulator is blocking the question, so that wasn't very helpful. Anyway, the question says using the line of best fit, which is the best prediction of the amount of money that will be collected in 2013. Now, to gain some perspective on when 2013 is from 2006, I mean, you could subtract. I mean, it's 7, right? But if not, you've got a little time. This thing is untimed. Why not draw a bunch of stuff on the side of it to make it look confusing? So 2006 would be here. This would be 2007. That might have been the worst 7 I've ever drawn. So this is a cornerstone day. 2011, 2012, and 2013. My prediction that 13 uh, minus 6 was 7 is correct perfect. But it just helps me to visualize what it looks like. Now, what I'm going to do is use my calculator to find a line of best fit here. There are videos about finding line of best fit without a calculator and a good luck with it, but I'm not going to show you that here. I'm going to use a TI-84 to do this one plus. In order to do it, I want to go into the uh, stat menu, which is weird because when you edit your list and put them in, you don't go to list, you just go directly to stat, which I always thought was odd, but whatever. I'm not Texas Instruments. Um, so anyway, I went ahead and put them in. My L1 would be my year since 2006, or my input value, my X, my independent variable, that whole thing. On the other side, I'm going to put my amount collected in my L2. And by the way, how pathetic of your community. Come on, folks. $185 for the whole community in a year? That's just sad. Now, when I get ready to use this information, I need to make sure that I exit out of the list. Otherwise, you'll start typing it in the list. It's very frustrating because you can't do much in that list. So I'm going to quit. Uh, now I need to go in and actually use the information. What I'm going to do is a linear regression, which is why I'm finding a line of best fit. So hit the second button, go down. And I didn't mean to hit the second button. I have no idea why I did. Uh, now I have to quit out of it. I'm sorry. So go to the stat button again. We're going to go to the one that says calc because this is calculations with my data. I need to go down to the one uh, that says L-I-N-R-E-G, that would be linear regression. It's got the A-X plus B in it. So probably M-X plus B is similar, right? It is. So I'm going to go down and calculate. And I get Y equals uh, uh, 58.57. I'm just using the information. I'm plugging in the values. So I'll do 58.57. 6-ish and be lazy, and then plus 193.6. Now, that's my line of best fit. How do I get to the answer? Well, if I would plug in 0 here, I'd end up somewhere along the lines of um, the 185 thing, but obviously it wouldn't hit exactly because it's a line of best fit and not line of perfect fit. This is not linear. Um, what I'll do is plug in my x value or my input value that I need, and since I graph this or push the little table out, I know that the number I need to put in for x is 7. See, there was a purpose to that. I knew it. Although it's still the subtraction thing plays, so I don't know really what I was thinking. I'm going to take this number, plug it in right there, and that should give me the value of the uh, equation when I have it as 7 years away from 2006. So I'm just going to go ahead and type that in, maybe. 58.6, and I tend to put things in parentheses, that's just how I just like to do things. You don't have to, you can just do multiply here. Plus 193.6, and I hit enter, and I get a final value of 603.8, which is really, really close to A, which is the answer to number 42. So that said, anytime you have a line of best fit, just do a linear regression in your calculator and then use that formula to get the output that you want. Make sure that you put the input value in the terms that the table supplies you. If you put 2013 in there, it's not going to give you 604. I'm not even sure what it would give you, probably something gigantic because 58 times 2013 is really large. So it would be very confusing. Make sure you put your input here as described by the table that you're given.